Kang. I'm calm. I'm perfectly calm. I'm utterly under control. I haven't to worry where others would hurry. I stroll. I'm calm, I'm cool, a gibbering fool is something I'd never become. When thunder is rumbling and others are crumbling, I hum. Mm -hmm. That's what they say.
whistle at a track. Oh, it'll fall. Whistle at a hero, trumpets and all. seen Hocus Pocus. This is my Hocus Pocus book. I am old and I need to read. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Tracy Stock on the piano forte. And this is Peter Kalo on the guitar. Receive them with praise. Now, how do I look? Thank you very much. What can be said about the genius, the standard bearer, the poet laureate of the musical theater, Stephen Sondheim, that hasn't already been said. Well, <laughs> quite frankly, nothing. <laughs> nothing. So, tonight, we will, together, do a teeny tiny portion of this man's amazing work. We'll focus on the beautiful romantic music of Sondheim. And what do I mean by that? Well, I mean romantic in the truest sense, in a late 18th century, sort of early 19th century kind of way. You know, where one sees reality in, a, in an idealized way. Idyllic, picturesque, imaginative, One's emotions are heroic, adventurous, lofty. Some might say mysterious and remote. And I would say, with Sondheim, knowingly naive. Being impractical on purpose because you want something. Using that naivete knowing naivete, to get what you want. Nespa? <laughs> I'm turning the page. <laughs> My first two numbers, from a funny thing happened on the way to the forum, and anyone can whistle. A funny thing happened on the way to the forum was my first musical theater album from the library. My dad 
got me the album. And come to think of it, my dad doing that, well, that's a, a whole nother show. <laughs> Entirely. <laughs> Believe you me. But he did indeed get me that album. And I subsequently recorded that album on a cassette. <laughs> you remember those, yes? Some of you. I did say album and cassette, so there you have it. And anyone can whistle. Well, this continues my love and devotion for one said Angela Lansbury, um, who is a person who does and did everything ex exceptionally well. She's one of the best examples of an artist, a person, a woman, a human. One of the best examples of being yourself, your unique self. No one looks like her. No one has a career like hers. But those who do are also singular. You get what I mean? So, anyone can whistle. 